Former NOPD child sex abuse commander who was convicted for being a sexual predator himself is heading back to federal prison. Three people died in two separate shootings in Metairie. Deputies arrested Sean Barrett in those cases and later tied Barrett to this case after finding the same bullets in Marcus's car. The hot topic these days is vehicle break-ins. It seems to be happening everywhere in Orleans Parish, and it seems to be happening more often. But what do the numbers show? After wearing a mask, you should treat it as a biohazard. So what is the proper way of cleaning and storing one? From mail carriers to bus drivers to cleaning crews, there are a ton of people who are putting the needs of others before their own during this pandemic. People all across the world are saying thank you in their own way, and people here are choosing to do so through art. To show you how often it happens, we place cameras around the station and went around the corner talking with people. So how does this work? After you park your car, you're going to find your spot number and then put your money in this meter. And if you go over your time, a sensor in the ground is going to tell a camera to take a picture of your license plate, which could give you a ticket. Officials say the best thing to do in a situation like this is to try and stay calm. It's probably a lot easier said than done, but they say the more you stay calm, the better your chances are of getting out to safety. A source tells me that this molasses was supposed to be mixed with oats and things like barley, things like that for livestock, but you know, things didn't really go as planned. Hundreds of people are camped out on Rampart. Street in support of the millions of young people struggling with homelessness across the nation. So the next time you go to a parade and catch something beautiful, sure you can sell it, but why not enjoy it and the unique story that goes with it? Because that is priceless. For Eyewitness News, I'm Jay Cunningham.